Adelaide's arrival that night sparked unbelievable scenes. 4,000 fans packed the airport in what was one of the biggest welcome homes the city had ever seen. West Coast's win over North Melbourne had also ensured the Crows a double chance. There was another rush for the second semi-final against Carlton at Waverley. And set doubled the number of Melbourne-bound flights that weekend, but some supporters hadn't stopped celebrating. Elder Park played host to the official burial of the Hawthorne Football Club. We hate you because you're Victorian! But to Victoria they headed, up Melbourne's southeastern arterial to Waverley. No less than 100 buses had made the journey from Adelaide for the game to determine 1993's first grand finalist. But Carlton held the title of Premiership favourites. They also boasted the year's biggest winning margin over Adelaide. To win, the Crows had to do everything right. Inside the 50, well, uncontested. Bone should have taken the mark, but snaps for goal anyway. In the goal square, a big chance. Whitney gets the first goal. It comes forward of the pack. McDermott bumped in the back. No free kick. He played it well. Kicks to the outer side. They can make something of this. Wiedemann has to wait. Runners all around, he feeds it back to Anderson, Tregenza runs on, Tregenza's got it now, Liptak is on, he needs to find him, he spots him down the ground now, Liptak can take it and go. Liptak runs to just outside 50, pulls it back intended for Wigney, and Wigney's taken the mark. That's better, Wigney must get in front. Wigney going at his second, and he's got it. His left footer, oh Madden is 30 metres in the clear. Wren giving chase, Ooh. what a sprint, this is something to watch, Madden goes long for goal, he might have kicked it, Whoa. sensational! And it was a lead Adelaide would struggle to regain on a day where the Blues defence reigned supreme. 16 minutes gone, but both defences well on top. Silvani, what a shocker! That didn't only go out untouched, it went out on the full. Well Tasker's had a sight hasn't he from here? Yeah, practised the last time. And this time, he gives it elevation and direction, but Silvani, right on the line, takes a screamer. Big man pops it onto the boot and finds McGuinness. McGuinness to Tregenza, who can run inside the 50. A question of accuracy. Now he's in trouble. Couldn't kick the ball. Maynard, little U-turn. Hard against the line. Kicks. Another chance right on the goal line, but the mark is... Held. While the Crows couldn't buy a goal, the Blues, well, they just couldn't help but kick them. Heaver. Oh, what? You're kidding. They're kicking goals from places you wouldn't believe they could kick them from. And despite the same number of scoring shots, the Crows went into the half-time break down by 10 points. By no means out of it. Scholl and Diulio on the bench for Carlton. Shepard in free kick against Madden. Gee whiz. That's oh, the that a triangle down there for Carlton. That area. Yeah, I suppose it was a shepherding free kick. Ran from 50 metres. A great-looking kick. Home for all money. Brown, little hand pass, Wiedemann breaks the tackle, back to McDermott, just playing behind the pack all the time, centres the ball beautifully to Bickley, but it's Tasker. Needs to get a goal from all his efforts. Right in front, 45 metres out. It gets offline, I believe. Who are behind. A goal would have put them in front. Williams floats a hand pass. Hogg had to wait for it. His tap out is clever. Bradley gathers. Now they're a chance to run it into the breeze. Bradley all the way to the 50, all the way to the 30. Craig Bradley goes for goal and kicks a ripper. Down towards half forward. Rusciuto overran it. This is to Ulio. To Ulio to Bradley. History repeats itself. He runs to 30. He may have kicked another one. He's third. McDermott to Jarman, great hand pass, lip back through the middle, his pass wide for Modra, this time Silvani nowhere in sight. Take him to 123 for the season. Looks all right, a goal. He got it from McDermott originally, now here's McGuinness. McGuinness short pass to Smart, in front of Hannah, a rare occurrence. Smart goes longer, Sun in the, in the eyes of Modra, but he takes the mark. That was a good mark, wasn't it, Drew? And you could see him shielding his eyes before the ball got there. And a straight kick will put the Crows in front. But straight kicks had been hard to come by, and the Crows went into the last change, trailing by nine points. And the Crows' fitness will be put to the test here. Bradley makes something out of nothing again. McDermott to bring it in. 
20 possessions this afternoon for him. There's Anderson. That will be ignored. He virtually comes straight down the middle. Wren's up in front, and that's a very good mark, considering the height of the opposition. The way to McGuinness, who runs away from half-back, chips it out wide. Maynard has to stretch, goes down and gets it. Now, Biska is on down the ground. Biska can take it and go. He hesitates momentarily, kicks for space, coming up on the lead, Tasca. That was a very good kick by Biska. Oh, that was spot on, wasn't it? It had to be perfect, Dennis, and it was. Sean Tasca on the lead. I do prefer him in the forward line to Big Randall Bone, mainly because of, because of his mobility, Sean Tasca. Very important kick, this one. The margin is 16 points. This to pull it back to 10. Has it got the carry? Not quite. Tasca gave a contest. Knocked down by Smart Tasker again. McGuinness sends Liptak into space. He's dragged down. And like a soccer goalkeeper, Silvani stopped it. Ange Christou off the left boot. Kernahan the chance. Pushed Three. out. Must be a free to Kernahan. Advantage. It goes to Heaver. Open goal coming up for Heaver. And now Bradley, who kicks number five. And guess who? Silvani to Hannah. Three of their best, although Hannah fumbles this time. Gives it away in effect. Tasker back to goal, but he can make something here. Turns, kicks, and for one of the few times, hasn't seen his kick touched on the line. It's a goal. Smart gets it to Anderson. Vacant goal. He goes long, and Tasker, the only man down there, drifts into the square. In 50 metres. Take him back to the goal line, surely. And get the angle right. The Blues have come from seventh. They're in the grand final despite this kick from Sean Tasker. The Blues were bound for September's big day. Liptak's late goal pulled the margin back to 18 points, but the final score reflected a day of missed chances. Had laid 28 scoring shots to Carlton's 21. And with the easy ones we've missed, if they were goals, it would have been a different ball, ball game. And, and the end result was it was in the palm of our hands and it just flew off again. And, um, but like I said before, our club came of age, but then we realised and how tough this game is and uh, one minute you're up there next minute you're, you're down so you've got to come up again